Let's do a problem. In this problem, we have a bow and arrow. The bow forms part of a circle. Radius of curvature of this circle is 40 centimeters. So this radius here is 40 centimeters. Length of the arrow is 32 centimeters and in normal position when the bow is not stretched. Half of the arrow is inside the circle. That means length of this portion is 16 centimeters. Here in this problem, we have to find the length of the string of the bow. That means the line shown in pink here. Let's discuss the approach for finding the length of the string of the bow. Now, if this is the center O, then this string is chord of the circle. We can name it as AB. The distance of string AB from the center of the circle O is denoted by this blue dotted line. And we can call this point here as point C. And we know that radius of the circle is 40 centimeters. Then length OC or the distance of chord AB from the center will be 40 minus 16 centimeters. So 40 minus 16 centimeters will be 24 centimeters. We know that perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. So this OC will be perpendicular to AB and AC here will be half of AB. With this approach, let's complete the solution. We can apply Pythagoras theorem in right triangle OAC and find the length AC. Here OA square will be equal to AC square plus CO square. Putting the values here, OA is 40, so 40 square will be equal to AC square we will write as it is, this we will find, plus OC square will be 24 square. So from here we will find the value of AC. So from simple calculations we can find AC to be 32 centimeters. Therefore AB will be equal to twice of AC. So that means twice of 32 centimeters equal to 64 centimeters. So this is what we have to find in the question length of the string which is AB equal to 64 centimeters. In this problem we've applied the property that perpendicular from the center bisects the chord. 